everybody, this is Praxis, and today we're back on site. River is doing some measuring here. I'm not sure what his exact purpose is. It's above my pay grade, but I'm sure it's something super critical going on down there. So if you're interested, you can check out what he's doing here. And I am right next to where we're going to be putting our woodshed. Now, it might seem kind of strange to be thinking about like, you know, where are you going to put your woodshed where well, you don't even have a house? Like is that putting your cart before the horse? Well, the woodshed is actually kind of critical uh, as it works into the house design because I'm going to be putting solar hot water panels on the woodshed. Uh, I was not planning on doing solar hot water panels from the get-go of this whole project. You know, there's a lot of great things about solar hot water panels. Right now I'm feeling the wonderful warmth from the sun. It's a, it's a nice warm day and I'm feeling that warmth. I do a lot of solar cooking. The sun is a great way of heating things, but I've heard some stories about solar hot water panels where, you know, they, they have moving parts, they can leak, you know, granted for most people most of the time I'm sure that's not a problem but I was going to stay away from it and I was just going to do so extra solar electric panels and use the electricity to, to heat the water just so again less moving parts and everything but because of the way the laws are set up in this state in order for me to build the house the way that I wanted to which is just super insulated windows facing south to get solar gain and heating it with a wood stove that's seen as being not particularly green in the area which I'm in I don't think that's the re I don't think that's reality. I think that that's lobbyists or whatever, you know, putting laws around to kind of force people into things that maybe they wouldn't otherwise do. But given the fact that I'm not using a lot of, you know, high tech, you know, quote unquote green technology to build my green house, uh, I get kind of penalized. And to compensate for that, I was able to say that, okay, well, I'll put solar hot water panels in the system and that makes it okay for me to do everything else. It's kind of lame, but at the same time, it could be really cool having the solar hot water panels. It's like, I, I, it's kind of a glass half full, glass half empty kind of thing. And, uh, you know, while I wasn't planning on doing it, I am excited to see how they, they can perform because, again, the sun's great at heating things. Um, uh, so I, I'm thinking that they could work pretty well. We've got our area all flattened over here. We're ready to receive our lumber. That's that dark patch. It's all soil down over here. I called the people this morning. The uh, lumber order is going in and we should have it, you know, by the end of the week or so. So that's awesome. And this company I've worked with before. So when they say they're gonna do something, my tendency is to think they actually are gonna do it. I know the story with a lot of contractors lately on this process has been like, you know, they say they'll do something and then like maybe you know, a couple months later it gets done. Um, and which brings me to the fact that we still don't have walls here, but I think we're getting close because the, the story of the delays has been half the contractors just not showing up for God knows why and half that we've had bad weather. Well, the bad weather is going away now. We've got a super warm week coming up. Uh, we've got more warm coming after that. So, you know, at this point, the only thing holding us up is just the contractors. So they can't, you know, get back to me saying, oh, it's like it rained or it was like slightly cold. You know, the weather is getting to be really good. I think this stuff is going to go in pretty soon. So I'm excited <laughs> and I hope it actually happens pretty soon because uh, we're getting close to uh, mud season and that will be uh, not good for trucks getting in here. That's it. See you next time. Thanks for watching.